So, let me share a case that changed my practice and practice I, makes you perfect. And and I'm con I'll convince you that you will also do that. So this 11 month old female uh, presented to one of my friend's place, um, and I was traveling. I was coming back from Surat from my outreach clinic, and next day I was to go to uh, US and meet Taral. And we were attending I uh, IPOS there. So he told me that we got a lateral condyle fracture. Uh, so what time are you reaching? I said, I am reaching at 10 o'clock. I said, we'll take at 10 o'clock and we'll, we'll do that. So this is, was the x-ray. Uh, this was another x-ray. Uh, anybody for anything? Do you think, wh wh what do you think you will do here? Close reduction pinning. Arthrogram. Arthrogram. Before fixation, after fixation. And how many of you will simply do open reduction and internal fixation in this? Look at this. Quite a few, right? Okay. So this was the second view. So I didn't know about uh, internal rotation view back in 2010 because it was not published probably at that point of time. But it was incidental internal oblique view I have at that point of time. So when I went there, I was little surprised to find some medial swelling there. But uh, I was also not very convinced, so we had open reduction from lateral side. And I did an anterior arthrotomy, but we couldn't find any fracture line there. So we were in, in dilemma that now what to do? So I thought we'll have some, we'll put some dye and see what is happening there. Because on table, we, that's the only thing which could come handy. The dye was not there because I was operating in someone's place, so I had to call my hospital and I get a get some dye. Meanwhile, we thought we'll just, we'll just fix the metaphysis to metaphysis. That was was seen, you know. So I just matched the metaphysis piece, piece to metaphysis piece and this was the fixation. And then when we do, did arthrogram, we found that there was no fracture line there. So basically, what was this? This was a physical separation, basically. And we could have done this absolutely close had it done, had followed uh, a giant's advice. But at that point of time, I was not very regular doing arthrogram and from there I have started doing arthrogram in all the cases. And if you look at this, the radiocapitular alignment was maintained. But that you see many a times in oblique views in lateral condyle fracture as well. So whenever you are in doubt, you should, you know, have a die handy and do that. A few years later, um, I got this fracture. Now giant Question to Peter Anand, what went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine, nine, slide nine, yeah, slide nine, yeah. Yes, Jayant, uh, what, what do you think is happening here? So how many of think this is a lateral condyle fracture? Hitesh. There are quite a few who feel this is a simple lateral condyle fracture. What do you think this is? We have, we have information. So what more would you do here? Arthrogram. arthrogram. So what I have started doing is, I will put one or two wires and then do an arthrogram. So if you look at the arthrogram, this is the where where the fracture has gone. If you look at this, it, the fracture has not gone in the articular surface. So here we just did a percutaneous wiring, did an arthrogram, and there's a few more images from arthrogram. You see, we got a beautiful alignment, and here what we did was we avoided an open reduction. So this is how the fracture healed without any deformity, and open reduction was avoided. So elbow arthrography has generated some interest yesterday uh, from what the way we did, Sandeep and I did that. So this procedure in my opinion is must for those who are treating children with elbow injury, especially you are getting younger and younger children. It's a great handy tool making the, your decisions easy. It's avoiding unnecessary surgery, exploration, it decreases complication and in my opinion few ml of dialysis solves a lot of many complex problems. So I'm, let me just end thinking by showing you this slide. This is a place called Deo Prayag in Himalaya. This is where the Bhagirathi and Alaknanda rivers meet. And once they meet, that is called Ganga. And here I would like to thank 
Ganga for what they have done to IFIX 2018. Thank you once again, Ganga team. I'm we are highly.